that. Nobody has been a bigger beneficiary of uh, harassment hypocrisy than the Clinton dynasty. Last year, the message was that you were a sexist if you didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. There was a special place in hell for you. Now, in a belated act of remembering, people are recalling all the accusers the Clintons trashed to keep and to hold power. Clinton needs to stop. She needs to stop talking about this topic unless Bill Clinton wants to come forward and apologize for being a sexual harasser, for settling with women. Hillary Clinton hasn't been held accountable for her role. She refuses to answer questions of it. And I think that is the reason why she lost the 2016 election, because Donald Trump was able to throw that in her face and she did not want to confront it. Well, Richard Goodstein was a lawyer advising Hillary Clinton in 2008 and 2016. Uh, he joins us now. Richard, are you still aboard the Clinton train? There seem to be a lot of people jumping off after 20 years. Uh, Mark, I'm just a little confused by your lead-in to the segment mm -hmm. we just heard, mm -hmm. where you said first there was Harvey Weinstein. You did forget the 16 accusers against Donald Trump. And then you said, and then there was, there was Al Franken. That overlooked the nine against Roy Moore, accusing, uh -huh. incidentally, of things much more than an unwanted kiss. Hands, fingers going places in Donald Trump's case that nobody, we can't even well, discuss yeah, okay, on this network, let, right? Hey, okay, Richard, let's, 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 if you, if we want to, if we want to do this, you can't tell the players without a scorecard. Uh, I agree with what Penny was saying. This is taxpayers' money that has gone to settle 200 cases uh, in Congress. Uh, and I would like to see, I would like to know the names. And then, we, then we'll have a final score, Democrats and Republicans. Do you support the, uh, the revelation, the release of those names? Absolutely. I, look, I, I think it is scandalous. I, I agree with what Penny said in many regards. She said it's not a Democratic or Republican mm. problem. Couldn't agree more. I mean, the fact is, the, the litany of names, Bob Packwood and Mark Foley mm. and Larry Craig, believe me, there yeah, are plenty look, of Republicans look, here. No, and no, there's no, no reason yeah. to recite them all because we have to concede it's men doing bad things. Right. It has nothing to do with party. Larry, Larry Craig played footsie in the Minneapolis airport men's room and didn't get any action for it. Mark Foley, uh, he had a non-sex scandal where he was uh, writing B.A. Do to uh, pages. That's very different from Bill Clinton. And Michelle Goldberg in the uh, New York Times, she wrote a column, uh, I believe Juanita, published a couple of days ago, and she said, Bill Clinton no longer has a place in decent society. Uh, do you agree with Michelle Goldberg? You know, uh, Ken Starr spent $70 million hmm. looking into Bill Clinton's transgressions, including talking to Kathleen Willey and Paula Jones and Juanita Broderick. And Juanita Broderick was found twice not to have testified truthfully, once under oath, once in a deposition. Hmm. She denied having sexual contact. So, yes, I believe that. So you that. don't find Juanita Broderick credible? You differ I'm from the New York I'm saying when she New was York under Times. oath, Mark, when she was under oath, it's one thing that trot her out to some press conference before a debate. When she was under oath and there were legal consequences for to, lying, she, when she, there she, were legal she, consequences she, for lying, she, she testified that she did not have sexual contact. So, yes, I believe let, well, that. Well, look, look. Uh, nobody's talking about lawsuits now. This is all past the statute of limitations in most of these cases, except for some of these uh, recent, recent fellas. But basically, Michelle Goldberg is writing in the New York Times that she believes a rapist was a two-term president of right. the United States. And what I'm saying is, I don't know why Michelle Goldberg would believe somebody who under oath twice denied having sexual contact with Bill Clinton. You well, have maybe. to ask Michelle Goldberg why she does. So you can call Bill Clinton anything you want. We know what Donald Trump has bragged about. Well, right? maybe, maybe, about. maybe she believes her, Richard, because uh, your candidate, Hillary Clinton, told us that you should always believe women. Until the evidence shows contrary, right? That's no, no, what Hillary I didn't Clinton hear said. that bit. She didn't say anything about the evidence showing contrary. Oh, no. Contrary. Go back and check the records. That's precisely mm. what she said when she was asked about this. Um, time and time again, she said, yes, going in, women should be believed until there's evidence showing to the why, contrary. Why do Mika Brzezinski uh, and Michelle Goldberg and these other people have been loyal to the Clintons for 25 years now want the Clintons to go away? Well, first of all, I don't think they do want the Clintons to go away. And the fact is, Michelle Goldberg, in her more recent column, said she thought she had actually overreacted to all this. No, and, she, and thought, Mika... she thought she'd overreacted to Al Franken. 
That's true. Uh, that's, uh, that's the guy who uh, grabbed uh, a, a lady's butt Look, at the state fair. There are plenty of people, and maybe Michelle Goldberg and Mika are a part of them, who, who want the Clinton legacy to be forgotten for what, all the accomplishments that they had. For whatever reasons, you'll have to ask them. But the fact is, Democrats, by and large, are proud of the legacy that Bill and Hillary Clinton have left. And, and again, the, I'm waiting for this network and others to look at all the women who came out against Donald mm, Trump a mm. year ago, and that was just kind of but swept wait, under the rug. But wait a minute. Uh, we were told uh, in the Clinton era that character doesn't matter, that if you do a great job on welfare reform and taxes, that the fact that you're a pig in your private life doesn't matter. Why isn't, well, why isn't what's source for the Democrats uh, source for the Republicans, too? Uh, again, Ken Starr spent 70 million bucks looking into this, Mark. I'm waiting for a buck to be spent to look into the 16 women who came right. out against Donald Trump. When that happens, you and I will be on the same page. Okay, so you're, you're, you're like putting a price tag uh, on, 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 the, on these, in, in, so on these investigations. No, yes. it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to hear that. Thank you, uh, thank you Richard. Uh, I'm glad Thanks you uh, dropped by tonight.